I gave it one week. I tried. I failed. Got too busy. Didn't have a chance. I suck at life. New comic book day. Let's see what's coming up. So as always, guys, I, I do apologize. This is new comic book day pool list. I thought I could get this done every Friday and just got busy. I was busy doing the Invincible list, which hopefully you got a chance to check that out and didn't get a chance to finish this up. Um, it's it's always that weird thing where your weekend just gets away from you, and I didn't get a chance to do it. So here it is. New comic book day, as always. This is dropping on Monday. Uh, I write and talk a little bit, and then we get some first appearances that are coming up. Uh, some of these first appearances I'm excited about. Some of them I'm getting tired of. Well, you have Joker, uh, Joker number two, second print. I really, really dig the regular, just regular cover. This is great. I, I mean, this is fabulous. I, I want this book because of that. I didn't buy Joker two first print, but I do want this cover. I think it's a great, great cover showing vengeance, uh, Bane's daughter. Uh, and then Nightwing, Heartless. Supposedly, it's a, a second cameo. I don't understand quite understand dc likes to do that where they show you little squares with, with them in it and uh it just gets frustrating you're like okay come on now why, why is it again uh a cameo why can't you just show her and then you have immortal hulk uh time of monsters uh normally i don't go for these one-offs that often i, pro I might probably won't even pick this one up but supposedly there's a hulk from ten thousand years ago in this one uh so it's a hulk but not maybe a first appearance of a hulk uh, you know how sometimes that sort of works and then uh, I didn't drop the image in here, but I'll have a later image for this book. Legends of the Dark Knight, Volume 2, Issue 1, has the chemical break, uh, chemical arms breaker dealer, not broker, who's the one who distributes all the, the weapons to all the, the evil bad guys for Batman. As you can see, guys, there's, as always, there's just variants. Uh, stores and uh, publishers have figured out that the, the variants are what drives the market. Um, as much as we complain about that, those are what sells. I know I go in and I look for a variant as often, if not more than I do for the cover A, even though time is said, unless it's a one for 25 or one for 50, the B and C covers do not sell as well as the cover A's if the book becomes anything. So here, there's a few here that we're going to look at um, as we scroll down, but yeah, it's just so many different covers to go through. So let's, let's sort of jump in. Let's, let's look at a couple of these. Uh, first one I want to look at, this is, by Fantagraphic. Fantagraphic made the list. They don't usually have that many books that make the list. Uh, but this is Red Room. This is a Peach Momoko. I think it's a one for 20. Uh, different groups I'm a part of. I, I'm, I'm in lots of different comic book groups. This book has come up on a few different occasions. People being very excited for it. People really wanted this Momoko cover. Uh, rumor has it that this is the last Momoko cover for a while that's not Marvel specific. But I don't know how if I can believe that. It's really hard to believe that when Boom has like six books that came out with Momoko covers. Or I'm exaggerating, but I think there's a Power Rangers that came out, and we'll go through them. And there's a Storyteller. So there's Boom. Are, Boom still has them. They might be sitting in a file, and they just pull them out for each issue. But supposedly this might be one of the last Momoko for an indie that was commissioned. That doesn't mean it's the last one to come out. It was commissioned. But this is a weird, fun cover. This book interests me. It's Ed Pisker. Um, if you like his style, it's um, he has a unique style. He did some, I think, the X Men Grand Design was uh, in Fantastic Four, like Grand Design or whatever, was him. But it's uh, it's sort of an interesting story and sort of look at and go through and look at that. So you might want to check out Red Room. This is the third part of the Stephanie Hans one for twenty fives. A and issue one, issue two, issue three. Uh, this is the third one. I do like this one. I would love to have the complete set. I have not picked up any of them so far, but I think it's a great, it's the Black Knight though on the cover. So that makes it a little bit more collectible. If stores are picking up ordering 25 copies by issue three, a lot of times they tailor, they tail off. So th this might be something to look out for. <sighs> Fantastic Four life story. Uh, number one, the sixties Spider-Man had his, that was really popular. Uh, Spider-Man Life Story that Chip Zakarski did. He's doing a Spider-Man Shadow or Spider Shadow right now. Same sort of premise idea. Uh, I am curious. This reminds me of uh, if you've been collecting for a while back, they had the Spider-Man Blue, Hulk Gray, Daredevil Yellow that all came out. This is what that reminds me of. Or the X-Men Noir. 
um, sort of concepts of these are all mini series that are only meant to be one to six issues or so. And they, they tell a, a story from the character's perspective. That's just different. Sometimes they're, they're great. And sometimes they're, they're great stories to read. I'm just not sure how collectible they end up being though. I did pick up a lot of the Spider-Man, but I'm also a Spider-Man guy. This is heroes reborn. This is, um, the one for 20 variant or one for 25 variant. Do what you want with Heroes Reborn. I have not read any of it yet. I don't know how good it is. Though there are some one-off issues that I do sort of like just strictly because of the covers. And anytime you talk about mashed up characters, you never know what which one's going to take off, which one's going to be good. This is the blur. This is the DC making fun of the Flash uh, from Squadron Supreme. This is a thank you variant uh, for one of the books. And if you want to track it down, it looks pretty cool. This is for the Jules Verne Lighthouse number two. Number two, it's a thank you variant. I did not read the Jules Verne Lighthouse. It's by those guys who made some Sonata. It looks very much a lot of the covers look very much like those covers. Uh, I actually really like Sonata, but I had I have not picked this up yet to read. So I'm curious. It might be something to look for. Uh, Layla Star, I read this last night. In fact, this is a really good premise for a story. I'm excited about it. Uh, I would this. This covers uh, Jeff Deckel. There's also a virgin version of this cover sold out on Midtown. It's going for double right now on eBay. So it's uh, going to be a hard book to track down. Um, the pick up the virgin cover, I think, is a thank you variant. Um, sometimes those are cheaper. Sometimes those are more expensive. I have yet to figure out every store is different, how they view a thank you variant and how much they sell them for. A lot, to, a lot of them now look at eBay and say, hey, okay, this is what I sell them for. But this is a great cover. I'll... I like this cover. I actually like the cover B cover is really good too. Um, but this was a good book. I picked up the foil and I picked up the regular cover when it came out. Um, I'll plan on reading this. It just, it's a good story. I want to see where it goes. It's all about the Indian God of death has been fired and she's comes back to earth to take care of the baby um, who's supposed to bring eternal life to everyone. So it's uh, it should be interesting and see where it goes from there. Uh, this is a uh, Valkyrie's. Mighty Valkyries number two. This is the one for 100 Peach Momoko variant. She ends up getting the same thing, the Alex Ross Timeless variants. They're getting these Momoko variants. Um, there's a, always a cover A or cover C that has the trade version of this. So this is if you like, if you really believe in Valkyrie's book, if you really believe in Momoko one for 100, then track this down. Like I said, here's Momoko. Here's a, this is Power Rangers number seven. This There's, a, I think, a one for 25 and a one for 50. For this, that's one has the trade, one has the virgin. This is the virgin cover. Uh, there, are, she has a theme. She's been doing the same thing, just like Montez does for the Mighty uh, Mighty Morphin. The Power Rangers set has Momoko doing them, but I like this cover just a little bit more because it has the the guy with the hood and everything. I'm not a Power Rangers guy. I haven't been reading the story. I know that uh, Ryan Paris doing a great job. I just haven't been reading it. This is Radiant in Black. Uh, I'm showing you both of them right simultaneously. So this is the third printings of both cover A or issue one and issue two. Uh, this is the one for tens. There's also color versions of this that are great. Um, I will probably pick up the color versions. And if I can find the one for 10, I might pick that up as well. Uh, it's, I've read the first issue. I like to see where it goes. It's been, I've been picking up the second prints have been great for this. Um, in fact, it just for me, the third one is in my just for me section. Shang Chi, this is a J. Scott Campbell. Um, I do have to say, are they gonna is someone gonna go try to fix this? Um, just to bring up the all that's on the Instagram and the craziness of the person that that fixed a J. Scott Campbell cover. I wonder if someone will try to fix this one. Uh, but I, I like seeing anytime J. Scott Campbell's not doing the same pose. And he's not doing the same pose for any of the characters here. He has a style. If you like your style, you love it. This is a, I think a one for 50. Um, I like this cover. I I'm not going to pay $50 for it, but I do like this cover. Uh, this is the one for 25 of the second printing of for Momoko. I can't remember. This is a reprint of the cover. This is, oh, sorry, this is not Momoko. It looks like Momoko, but it's not. This is Wu, uh, W-O-O-H. This is the one for 25. You, I know there was a co there was a original of this, so I think the difference is silk is written uh, in a different color. Uh, this is Ultra Mega. This is the one for, I think it's the one for 10. There's a one for five, a one for 10, and then a cover A and cover B. I have really 
light ultra mega and it's i mean i've I've been lucky enough to get to read a little bit ahead on each issue and guys if you've been picking them up and you've been reading them you know what i'm talking about it's each issue one was different than issue two and then issue three is takes it another step and you're like what the hell is going on but this is so awesome i still don't understand what's going on but so awesome and it's not to say the story is incoherent it's a great story it's just uh, I don't know. It's one of those you have to read it to understand. Now it is difficult because you have to pay a little bit more than uh, I think it's like seven ninety nine, six ninety nine for the covers. But there are longer issues. They're not short issues, so you're getting a little more bang for your buck with it. But these have been great. I've picked up the one for fives and the one for tens when I can, if they're not already gone. These are just such great. And the one for five, and one for ten are just black and white versions of the cover A and cover B. Uh, this is Batman zero point one for twenty five. This one I actually sort of am excited about because you get Snake Eyes in it. Snake Eyes is a part of it, so I want to see where the story goes. Just so the crossover, it's Fortnite. People are lined up outside the doors of comic shops to pick these up. It amazes me because then they come off a second print with the exact same code in it. But Fortnite people are for real. They want these codes. They, I don't know if they're trying. They're going to build because I think if you collect all six, you build up a super armor Batman. But if you just want each one, if you wait and install them, so people really want this book. I think stores have wised up. I imagine there'll be more copies of issue three because most stores had to order issue one and issue two before they sold issue one. But issue three, they saw, man, it sold out. So I imagine there's going to be more copies of issue three, which is great because there's Snake Eyes. So you're going to have G.I. Joe people. They're going to come wanting this one as well. Chain to the Grave, this is this IDW, um, the one for tens. Uh, most IDWs come with a one for ten. I have not read this yet. I do have a couple of the issues. Then you have Godzilla. I love the issue one um, variant. Uh, this one's okay. You have Mothra on the cover and you have Godzilla. And it looks like a monster, like Venus flytrap or something. This is Legend of the Dark Knight. There's a one for 25 variant. So if you like the, the chemical broker, or bad guy, or whatever, then get the one for 25. If you think there's potential for this character. I'm sure that character can pop up multiple times. I mean, we saw in Marvel where the power broker um, became a hot commodity for whatever was that issue uh of uh, the human fly like issue seven or whatever that people went crazy for 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 that for that little little bit uh, another idw got some of these star trek books i don't like star trek i haven't read any of them but they have some great covers i love this sort of this uh two po movie poster feel uh it's a one for ten transformers um not quite sure what's going on here with transformers because there's transformers 29 and 30 both come out like the same week, it looks like. Uh, this is a one for 10, I believe, cover. I actually do sort of like it. I didn't put the 129 one, and there's also another Transformers. There's like three Transformers book coming out this week, and they all have incentives. This is the foil variant. Uh, it's the front and back cover. You can sort of see of uh, Wonder Girl number one. This is the Yara Flora's like, first story, or first solo title story. I mean, even though she's had some short little short stories um, of the ongoing series. Uh, it's in the foil. There's also, I think, two or three other variants. So you can flip through the side. You can see the list. And you can see the other ones as well. And this is the one for 25 of the second print. It's the black and white. I'm still blown away that the one for 50, it sells for double and triple what the first the first Bane goes for. Um, I, I wasn't a believer in this cover when it came out. I'm still not a believer in it. But... And if I could have gotten it for 50 bucks, it, it would have been worth it. It was a great flip. Some people are, are betting hard on it. It's still selling for a couple hundred bucks. I don't know what the one for 25, but if you missed out on the other one, this might be one to try to tra track down. And then we're back to sort of where we started. So that is the variance, as always. Let's keep going. And let's look at what I sort of picked out for me. Now, I, I'm not even throwing the book up here, but I did separate out the Force Rarity again. Berserker's there again. Uh, I think I heard 4,000. They he even they even came out and said there was only a 4,000 print run for this cover. I complete, I might be completely wrong. Maybe that's a number I'm making up that I heard, but I, I'm just getting tired of these. If people are still buying them, because I've seen them jump up to 150 and then crawl back down to $30 and $50 and $40. So be careful. There are just so many copies of this book. I don't understand... I do understand. We love FOMO. We love 
feeling don't, we don't want to miss out fear of missing out we don't want to miss miss out on these books they're a quick flip if you can get it for cover they're a quick flip if you can get it for 15 20 bucks but eventually the you have to realize what they are it's a reprint it's not a rare as rare as you think it is but hey make your money or shell out the money because you feel like shelling out the money for them here's my source section um as you can see, there's a lot, there are quite a few that I'm interested in. Some of them I'm throwing in here because I know collectors like them. That doesn't mean I'm going to like it. I'm not going to get this book, Essentia. I know it probably will hit cover tunes. This is a Perillo cover. Um, it's There's actually a nude version of it as well. Essentia is this book that no one had a clue about. And then no, issue number one had a Jim Lee one for 25 cover. And that was 100 bucks from the get-go because no one ordered Essentia. Now you have a Perillo book. And you have the, and you have the one for five. So when you talk Captain, uh, you talk Heroes Reborn, you talk to these mixed up, mashed up characters. How about a freaking Red Skull Venom looking cover? This is just Captain America, but this is the mashed up character uh, for the just the Heroes Reborn cover. Might be worth picking up. Uh, I might look for this one just because Venom is Venom, and anything Venom related has has potential. Uh, Firefly brand, brand new verse. This is the second print. I do like this cover. I've just read the first three issues of this. I hadn't really been reading Firefly. I, I have never read any Firefly, but I wanted to give this a read. Um, you got a couple of new characters. It's nice to get introduced to new characters and new stories. So you don't have to know all the back history though. I love Firefly, the TV show. So this is, it's worth picking up for me. I'm going to pick up the second print. I picked up every one of the issues that's come out so far. Uh, Geiger third print issue one read this last night as well. I liked it. I didn't think I would. I did like it. I, I really like this third print. The second print was great with the glow in the dark. This is even better as just so black and white. This is a Momoka cover. I like, um, it's a Stormbreaker cover, but it's not a, from what I can tell, it's not any like ratio variant or anything like that. This is Momoko. This is heroes reborn three. Uh, I love the Ghost Rider on Flames, which I think the Heroes Reborn has a story about Blur in it, which is looks like the guy in the ball, the fast, but then also has a story about some magic and demons as well, and that might be where Ghost Rider comes in. So it just, it's just a great cover. Uh, home number two, issue one was good. I mean, just the entire concept of dealing with crossing the border illegally, and then also a child ended up with powers at the same time. Or, sorry, getting put in detention. And then finding out the child has powers. Magic, second print. Or no, wait, this might be the third print. Yeah, this is the third print. Um, magic, people love Magic the Gathering. So I would be picking up some of these lower print books just to see. Uh, I thought this came out last week. Everything said it was supposed to. It looks like it's supposed to come out this week. Pick it up if you see it. That's just, it's supposed to be my pool. So I'm hoping I get it. I'm hoping it doesn't get... Uh, delayed or anything like that, but I, I've, I've liked the story so far. This is one that's sold out at Midtown, um, out of body experience. I think I've seen a couple of store variants for this, uh, by Antarctic Press. It's just a great cover. I want to read this story. I'm hoping to pick up a copy when I get to the store. Antarctic Press has had a couple of good books. Um, the horror comics, uh, I have it around here somewhere. Um, it's pretty good. Phantom with the Scanner just read this today. Um, good story. Um, I really like the art. The covers are the best part about it, but the art inside the book is really good too. Um, I want to see where it goes. It, the last page took a different turn than I was expecting, but it's Cullen Bun. Everything is always in some, so some form of horror, but uh, I want to see what issue two, so I will pick up issue two. Stray Dogs has been fun from the get go. This is a great, I love the horror movie homage covers. Pick this up, guys. Pick this up. Superman. Uh, the only reason I'm highlighting Superman, this cover, is because John Paul Leon did it. You, if you've been paying attention, he passed away, I guess, a week ago, maybe two weeks ago. Picking up, he, he doesn't get enough credit for being as, as fabulous, as great as he is as an artist. So he's done a few covers here lately. He did a Berserker issue two, one for 25. Um, this cover, picking up some of his last few covers. It's just impressive. They're just gorgeous covers. 
And then I have to show anytime I see a Paul Pope cover. I love it. I pick it up. And I really like the colors on this one. I'm for sure picking this one up as well. Then, I, like I said, Ultra Mega. This is the APPI, the Asian Pacific Indian um, Islands cover or whatever. So it's just bringing in Asian Pacific. It gives away a little bit more of what the issue is sort of about. But it's a good, good, good story. I'm going to pick up this cover. And I'm going to pick up this cover as well. I like both covers. They're great. I like the story. It's worth picking up. Ultra Mega, I'm high on uh, just for, for the sake of being a good, fun read. And that brings us back around. So, guys, that's my list. New comic book day. Pull list. Check out my videos, guys. Like, subscribe if you like what I'm doing here. I know it's a little long. There's a lot of great covers to look at. Gave you a little bit of my opinions on them, which ones might be hot, which ones might be not. But as always, you can catch the full list on comicbookinvest.com tomorrow morning when it drops.